What if you could place an option trade on two different stocks and profit on both of them? Yeah, and with very little risk because they move together. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to profit this way and be sure and watch to the end because I'll give you a special tip on how to profit even more. In this video, we will cover what is a pairs option trade, what are the benefits of pairs options trades, and how do we place pairs option trades showing a great example on the option trading platform. Hey guys, we've got a great video for you here today. But first, do me a favor, please hit that like button so we can get this video out to more people. Today we're going to provide a complete tutorial showing how to profit using pairs options trades. I think it's important that we understand all the different ways that the rich are getting rich so that we can do the same and profit in any market. I promise we're going to dig into many detailed tips and tricks in this video and future videos. So please, right after you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe so you're informed of future videos. And also be sure and download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner and I'm not recommending trades. Please do your own research. And if you're new or learning options, I recommend you start small. What is a pairs option trade? A pairs trade is a trading strategy that involves matching a long position with a short position in two different stocks with a high correlation. So what does it mean to have a high correlation? It means the prices move together. So Darren, why do you want that? To make a lot of money. What are the benefits of pairs option trades? There are several benefits of pairs options trades. Since the stocks are highly correlated and move together, you should have at least one and possibly both sides that are winners. This is because you're betting on one moving up in price and one moving down in price. It can only move up or down, so one side is going to be a winner. You can also bet long on the stock that is oversold and then short the stock that is overbought. So the odds should be in your favor of the prices moving back to parity and where they should be at some point. And by incorporating these top two reasons, what do you think we are doing? Yep, we're reducing risk. Of course, you want to do your homework and check the fundamentals and news so that you're aware of why there may be a difference in prices between the stocks. That is with one being higher priced and oversold and one being lower priced and undersold. You are really looking for the fundamentals that confirm this so you can even have better odds in your favor. How do we place a pairs option trade? All right, it's probably easiest just to show you. We're going to take a look at how to place a pairs option trade on the option trading platform. You can do this with any brokerage on any platform. However, we're going to use the Tasty Trade platform. Tasty Trade is one of the best brokerages for trading options. It's the one that I've used for many years, and they are the guys that developed the TOS, the Think or Swim platform, and sold it to TD Ameritrade, which is now Schwab, and they still use it right now today. Tasty Trade is even better. Right now, you can get cash back when you open an account. I'll put a link down below, and if you fund with at least $2,000, the channel does get a small fee, which is very much appreciated and really helps out. You really want to have a couple thousand dollars in the account anyway, just so you can place a few different trades. All right, let's take a look at the chart for the Qs, which is the NASDAQ, and IWM, the Russell. We can go to Trading View and see the Qs are currently trading at all-time highs. We also see that the Russell tracks right along with the Qs for the most part, but there's currently quite a big disparity or difference between the two. Now, we can also go to the Trade tab on the Tasty Trade platform and click on Pairs Trade. We punch in IWN on the left to buy, see the plus one, and on the QQQ on the right to sell, where there's the minus one, then hit the chart in the upper right of the box, and it combines buying the Russell IWM and selling the Qs all in one chart. And you can see it's at all-time lows. This is another way of looking at the disparity between the two. So we want to be long IWM, hoping it goes up, and short the Qs, hoping it moves down. They are pretty big products, so we will sell credit spreads to put on this pairs trade. Let's sell a QQQ call credit spread first since it is at highs. We punch in QQQ in the upper left 
on the trade tab and pull up the option chain. Then click on the September 15 option chain since it's 49 DTE days to expiration. I usually like to stay between 30 and 45 days to expiration to collect a good amount of premium and provide the trade time to work. We click on the bid to sell the 395 call and ask to buy the 400 call. We collect $170 and our max loss is the $5 width of the spread minus the $1.70 collected, so $330. We're collecting about one third the width of the strikes, which is what we shoot for. We switch to the curve mode and see that as long as we stay below the 395 short strike price, we keep the 170 collected when the trade is placed. So it can even move up from the 383 price where it is at currently and we still win. Now we go to the option chain for IWM and do the same except on the put side selling the put credit spread. We click on the same September 15th chain and open it up. We click on the bid to sell the 196 put and the ask to buy the 191 put and collect $160. So about the same as we collected for the Q's call credit spread. As long as the stock price stays above the 196 short put, we keep the entire premium collected. So you might be asking, what are some other possible pairs trades? Here's a few. Look at the way the gold and silver futures track each other. Currently, there is not a huge spread. However, you can see that they trade together. Obviously, a good time to have put this trade on was back around June of 2021. That would have been a great time to be long gold and short silver. Home Depot and Lowe's are very similar stores and highly correlated. This is one to keep an eye on and currently the spread is pretty big, so it could be a good time to be long Home Depot and short Lowe's. Costco, Walmart, and Target are other stocks to keep an eye on. How about ExxonMobil versus Chevron? There are many different possibilities and once you get used to trading and following them, you get to notice some trends and opportunities. You just need to check them and see when the stocks get out of correlation. Then we place the trades waiting for them to come back and into being more correlated again. Now I mentioned there's a special tip that would bring in even more profits. Here it is. If the trade goes against us, in other words, they become more out of correlation and further from the norm, we can do one of two things. We can just roll out and recenter to the next monthly option cycle and collect more premium, or if we still have 20 to 30 days left in the current monthly option cycle, we can place another similar pairs trade centered in the same monthly option cycle and collect even more premium. However, always be careful and don't trade too big with options by just adding to losing positions. But if you are a two or a three lot option trader, meaning your regular position size is two or three lots, then you know what? Start with one. Then wait and see if it's a winner as it develops. If it is, go ahead and take it off as a profit. If it does move against you, add another lot. Wait to profit and then finally a third lot if needed. This way you average in and are always either profiting or buying in at a better cost or lowering your cost basis, but always within your max trade size. All right, guys, if you're a beginner and this sounded kind of confusing, don't worry. It did for me as well at first. We will continue to cover more details on option trading in future videos and learn and succeed together. I put a link down below for the free options workshop. Be sure and grab that. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you're trading. Uh, any questions that you have, I will be sure and respond. Share the link with a friend. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.